I already have my data graphed. Now we just want to show a quick way to go through the analysis, maybe pull up some numbers that might mean something. So what I'll do is let's do go with this uh, appears to be a linear trend, these red dots. So I'll go up here to uh, my linear fit or my horizontal position. And I end up with a box. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit larger and let's drop down the decimals here and make the appearance a little bit larger to talk about. And so what I hopefully noticed is I have a slope of negative 7.8 meters per second. It appears to be the average velocity, relatively constant velocity for this um, ball through the air and a starting position of zero meters. Pretty good. This is a little bit different. This is a, uh, a curve. But we can go ahead and do a curve fit for that. Go ahead and choose vertical. And you have many options. It appears I've already chosen the quadratic for this. And what we'll do is we'll hit try fit. We'll look up at our little preview window to see if that is an appropriate curve for that. Look over at some of these numbers. They may mean something valuable for us, and we'll talk about that in just a bit. We'll go through the same process, changing the appearance a little bit. Um, let's go to one decimal. And decrease. And so what we end up with here we have um, our A coefficient, which some students may know is half the acceleration, or in this case, half of gravity. And then we have this B value, which is the starting velocity, which is a three meters per second, and a starting vertical position of zero.